Today, guys, I'm going to show you a bolo that is quick, easy to pick up, fast to ship, and easy to store. It's got everything going for it, and the best thing of all, very high prices and tiny, tiny storage space. So stick around. Go popping tags, now it's time to take it home. Let's get it sold. I'm in the drift game, no I ain't got the fame. The record shops for 20 years in the game. It's your boy Phil, aka the King of Thrift here, back with another video to help you guys crush it on eBay. If this is your first time here and you are looking to create a full-time life reselling on eBay, reselling on Mercari, Poshmark, it doesn't matter, you are in the right spot. I made my first sale on eBay back in 2003. Now at the time, I was a full-time employee at AT&T, but desperately wanted to be my own boss. Well, I started out by selling a bunch of things from around my house. I quickly ran out of things to sell, being an avid thrift shopper for most of my life since I was about 16. Being a thrift shopper, I realized that the thrift shops were basically an untapped potentiality of merchandise to resell on eBay. And with that newfound head knowledge, guys, 20 years later, here I am. Now I teach others how to get started reselling and how to earn a full-time living. I've been doing this for over 25 years. So let's get into the video today. And make sure you watch to the end because I do have a grailed item that you definitely want to be on the lookout for because they can put a G in your pocket like that, guys. The list that I'm going to be covering today is going to put money in your pocket regardless, so make sure you stick around. Now, the vintage Wayfarers are excellent for sale, you know, excellent, excellent sellers. Uh, but it doesn't really matter if they're vintage or not. They're going to sell well either way. So, as we see here, of course, we're going to start with the highest price first. And then we will go to the side over here. And search by completed. Um, we are going to do a few things here, but let me just show you. So we will go to completed. And we're also going to start with, um, again, we have to go here to highest price first. Okay, we're already set there. Now we have 6,879 results. Now that's important because we are going to, that is what is going to determine our sell through rate. As we go through here and we go to sold items of 6,000 and so and in some odd items, we're going to see how many sold. 6,000. So we have a very, very high sell through rate on these. Um, what sold according to what was listed? I mean, that's like 85 percent, 80 percent. It's just my guesstimate off the top of my right off the top of my head. That could be wrong, but it really doesn't matter. The sell through rate is extremely high on these. Okay, now another thing that we need to do is we want to go to um, used items. We are not looking, we're not interested in the new results. So let's see here, we will go condition. There we go, new without, new with defects, pre-owned. You can see we have 3,400 results under the pre-owned and about 1,000 under brand new. Brand new. So uh, that, that will tell us, that tells us more. Tells us a few things, but uh, one of which the most is that the market is much larger for used sunglasses than it is for new. Not to say that people are buying more used, uh, although that is factual because, as you can see here, they're buying three to four times as many used as new in this particular case. So it tells us that, among other things, uh, which I will not go into in detail right now because we are uh, tending to other matters. So... There's a pair of Ray-Ban Wayfarers, the clear lenses, vintage, $285. Um, we have the Walt Disney. These are not vintage. Uh, again, with the Disneys, uh, here we have uh, vintage red frame Wayfarers. Um, Disney, again, special editions. Of course, any of the special editions, uh, you know, anything including sunglasses are going to sell better because they are in shorter supply and assuming it's a quality product that is going to increase the demand and therefore the value of said item and you can see here I'm just scrolling through you know uh, I'm just looking at some of the results here I mean here's your classics over here you know Ray-Bans uh, although these are newer models it looks like I see the clear on those now they have these listed as vintage but they are not uh, these are a lot of new ones here. Uh, not brand new, but newer. 
Now, the thing about these is you can find them in the thrift shops. And as you can see here, you know, right here are top ones. Ray-Bans, $400, Ultra Wayfarers. Uh, now, keep an eye out for that as far as uh, what is the difference between Ultra and Wayfarers. Uh, it's basically, it's two different models. Um, very similar, but slightly different. Um, we're going to go in, I'm going to show you the differences here. Okay, let's go in here. You can see, I'm trying to get a shot. You can see that there, you see the um, special little chrome. And then you've got, uh, of course, the numbers there. Um, you got the little chrome on it, the little trim right there. Special editions. Um, and then little gold tips. So, uh, 1952, and that is, you know, I'm sure, you know, what they're, the year that they were modeled after. Um, you know, and then you can read down here, uh, white gold. So that's going to be the, you know, the selling, the, the, the selling point, the little white gold trim. Uh, 22 carats probably painted on, I'm guessing. Uh, I'm not real familiar with this special edition, but nonetheless, I do know I've sold several pairs of Wayfarers in my reselling and thrifting career. And they always sell well. So if you can pick up a pair for $5, even $10, even $25, you're not going to go wrong. You are going to sell them. Uh, they're going to fly out the door. Trust me. As you can see, 6,000 out of 600 and uh, out of 6,800, I believe it was, or 6,700 sold. So 6,000 out of 6,700, that's an excellent sell-through rate. So be on the lookout for Ray-Ban Wayfarers. Are you struggling to make sales on eBay or are you struggling to keep enough inventory or high quality merchandise that sells? These are two things that we, that most people are struggling with. And if you haven't begun reselling, then that's the only way that you haven't struggled with either of these things. I just completed my most recent book and is devoted to helping you guys crush it on eBay, to helping you to get started on eBay with absolutely no experience. Now with this book in your hands, you're going to be armed with the ammunition that you need to go out there and crush it and ultimately to make a full-time income. Now, the cost of admission for this book is basically pennies compared to what the uh, benefits that you're going to reap. I'm not trying to sell this to you guys, but it is available and I did put it together for those of you who are serious about taking your reselling journey to that next level. Or for those of you that have been dabbling and you're ready to go full time, it is not available to uh, the public yet. It is not even available for sale, but it is available to those of you who are very interested. I want you to go into the description section of this video, a follow, so that you can be notified when the book is released. And on top of that, guys, you will be entered to win a free copy to get a discount, regardless of whether you want a free copy or not. If you are signed up below, you are going to get a discounted copy. Back to the video. Okay, next we have gargoyles. And we're just going to search them in general. I'm not going to go uh, into extreme, uh, extreme, extremely specific models. Although I will look at a couple of very specific models that will bring you some big cash. Dale Earnhardt, I mean, Dale Earnhardt uh, gargoyles, as you can see there. <clears throat> Dale Earnhardt uh, Special Edition. Yeah, these are decked out. They got the box and everything, but they're basic. I mean, these are the basic gargoyle design. You know, it doesn't really change much. Um, so, as you can see, these are gargoyles. Um, you know, I recently came across a pair just like these here. Uh, you know, these blue ones. I listed them as, uh, I believe I listed them as Terminator styles. Uh, these are probably mine right here, actually. No, they aren't. But <laughs> I did sell a pair just like these Gargoyle Terminator styles straight from the 80s with the blue, you know, with the blue tint to them. And uh, I don't know, I got around the same that this, that this guy here got, about $150. But uh, I did have the box and everything, uh, you know, not necessarily the, um, the the new box that it came in, but I had the, you know, the carrying case. So uh, these are hot. Be on the lookout for these gargoyles, guys, because 
I've sold countless pairs of these in my day and people see them and honestly they don't look like very much they're pretty cheap looking but they are money as you can see they go full of money hundred dollars hundred dollars you know uh, you want to check the sell through rate on these let's go ahead and do that uh, we got the highest price first let's run over here we're going to click okay these are sold items so we got 230 sold out of completed 274 230 out of 274 excellent excellent sell through rating so be on the lookout guys all right all right next on our list is going to be oakley guys oakley i can't count the pairs of oakley's that i've sold in my day uh, it always brings me back to a very specific a couple of very specific pair uh, one of which if you can find these they are the juliets uh, Oakley Juliet's now those are there they are right there uh, I still would love to have a pair of these I think uh, Cyclops wore these in uh, one of the um, X-Men the guy with the crazy eyes he wore a pair of these uh, the red ones you can get the red ones super special edition uh, but as you can see here these are super special six thousand dollars for this for these pair uh, you know 24 karat gold plated titanium and yes, that is a titanium frames. These are super strong. Uh, but I always wanted a pair of these. They got the little screws that hold them in. I mean, they're super sort of industrial, you know, very man design, super strong and all that good stuff. So uh, be on the lookout, lookout if you can find a pair of these, specifically Juliet's, which I have yet to find a pair out there in the wild. I did find, uh, actually, I did find one pair. And I still don't even know if those were counterfeit or not. They may have been. But uh, I've never found a pair since. Uh, but what I have found are several pair of the um, Oakley, uh, like, um, not the Romeos. I can't remember, but it, it really brings me back to a very specific pair that I lost <clears throat> jet skiing one day. Had them on my head, on my face, dove into the water. Didn't even realize they were gone until I think the end of the day. But I dove in with them on like a dummy and, and, and off they went. And I learned a lesson, you know, never to, um, never to ski in your, in your, in your, in your favorite sunglasses. Matter of fact, be careful with your favorite sunglasses is <laughs> the rule of thumb. Uh, and as you, I'm just scrolling through here, guys. I'm just looking, you know, as you can see some of these prices, but let's go in and check out, um, we're going to do vintage Oakley. Cause that's what you're going to find more of than the new ones. You're going to find vintage. And we got 485 results. And that narrows it down from 35,000. So that's a pretty specific narrowing down. Really uh, takes your results much, much less. Uh, and then again, a lot of people won't list them as vintage, you know. So um, whether they are or not um, is going to be the thing. I mean, not everything listed as vintage is vintage, in other words. And a lot of things listed that are that are not listed as vintage uh, should be so I mean there's that to consider and in that particular in that case you, it just comes with the uh, knowledge you know study uh, you know study and know your product know you know what you're searching for know what you're uh, researching so and as you can see the top ones here um, you know they're all going to be the the Juliet's the Iridium's but we're going to skip a few pages so we can get to some different models some of the more common models uh, some of the ones that more like that you're more likely to come across out there now, like I said, look for the Romeos, look for the Juliets, do a little research and familiarize yourself with, uh, you know, with Oakley sunglasses and specifically with the older ones. So these here you will find uh, quite often. Mumbo, Oakley, Oakley Mumbo from the early 2000s. Pretty funky looking. Uh, again, right here, uh, M frames. Um, again, these here, they look like uh, the M frames. They look like uh, snow skiing goggles, you know, basically. Um, I had a pair of these, a red pair. I lost those. Um, those were the ones that I lost. I think they were slightly different. They were, they, but they look sort of like these ones. Uh, but as you can see, these are pretty common. You will find these, um, this particular style pretty often. Uh, but be careful. They are faked very often. So more than likely, the ones that you find out there are probably fakes. So do your research and be careful when listing them. But be on the lookout for Oakley sunglasses, guys. You'll make a lot of money with them. 
Okay, next is going to be again with the Ray Bands, guys, just because in my experience, these are the ones that you are going to find. So, Ray Bands, but the Aviator specifically, guys, Aviator. Um, the Aviator Editions, I mean, you see 21,000 results, and we're going to go straight, we're going to jump straight to the completed, uh, to the sold. 21,000 sold, I mean, completed items. And straight to the sold out of 21,000, we have 17. Excellent, excellent sell through rating. Now, just do a little research as you can see here $1,300 for a limited edition 1937. Uh, new old stock, brand new. You can see $1,300 again. Uh, $1,300, 50th anniversary. Uh, be quiet. Uh, let's see, let's see. Again, uh, now I'm starting with the best here. As you can see, guys, I mean, they're running $1,000 plus. So be on the lookout for aviators. Again, do your research. Find out which ones are the best. I'm not going to waste a lot of your time here doing research. You guys can do that. I'm giving you the big, you know, I'm giving you the big picture. You guys can fill in the, uh, you know, the missing pieces. Now, I'm going to give you guys a bolo, a grail item to keep, to be on the lookout for. And you guys are going to thank me for these. And you'll be lucky to find these out there in a while, but they are out there. And if you can find them, it's big, big money. And that is Kazelle's. Or Kazals, whatever you want to call them. Uh, and we'll just hit right there. <clears throat> now, guys, have a look at these. As you can see here, there's a pair for $700, a pair for $400, another pair for $395. And these are the ones that I am wearing on the cover of this video on a thumbnail. So, as you can see, not very many pairs. We have, in, uh, you know, total in all in all 16 results. And those are completed, sold. Uh, let's go ahead and just check completed. But guys, be on the lookout for these Kazals or Kazels, whatever you want to call them. I mean, here's a pair you guys want $1,700. And that's not actually asking too much. I mean, you, for a pair of new old stock, I would expect to pay $800 or $900 for these. So be on the lookout for these guys. Hopefully this video did help you guys out. And if it did, make sure you give it a great big thumbs up. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe right now. Click in the description section of this video and follow because if you don't, you are going to miss out on special access, special discounted access to my book, guys. It took me 25 years to learn what is what I've packed into this book. Pick up your discounted copy, and on top of that, guys, you can be entered to win a free copy. Make sure you like this video and sign up so that you don't miss my latest and greatest. Thanks for tuning in, guys, and until my next video, get on out there and crush your own. Shops for 20 years in the game, man.